So we're just right here inside this else statement and we'll start with uh, decreasing the number of tries left and we also have to uh, show it on the screen. Okay, so we decrease the number of tries left and we'll show it on screen. And so at this moment, uh, I'm just going to create a decrease and display tries left method. Okay, so this is the method that I want to call right now. And uh, we know what functionality it has to perform. So uh, right now we have something that um, something that is related so a couple of lines of code that are related to each other so we can just add them in this uh, method and uh, for now we have uh, most of the most of this else statement done we still have to check if the game is lost okay so we're gonna check this right here we don't need to create the new method but we also can do that if you want but we're just gonna go and type some lines of code right here so we will say if tries left so we're gonna see how many tries left there are so if it is empty right now we're checking if it is empty uh, then basically that means that the game is lost so um, what we're gonna do is first of all we will set in txt tries left where you see those uh, X's uh, we're gonna set the text to uh, losing message so it will say game lost and then after we do this we just have to uh, also make sure that we display the um, the word so if the user types in uh, let's say uh, five wrong uh, guesses then we just have to reveal the message that uh, just to reveal the word that uh, the user needed to guess so we're gonna say txt word to be guessed and then set text and we're just gonna set the text to word to be guessed and so that's when the game is over and at this moment we finish uh, this uh, else statement so this uh, basically we finished right now the if else statement and uh, at this moment we can go just here outside uh, that uh, if else statement and we can see um, we can perform a check first of all and we're just gonna display the letter that was tried okay and first of all what we need to do is to check if that letter it's uh, still uh, if the letter that the user uh, typed in is one letter that is already inside my letter tried string so if that if that letter basically uh, was uh, still used by the was still typed in before by the user and so it's just a redundant letter then I don't need to show it again so that's what I want to check right now I want to check if letters tried so the string that uh, I have with letters tried dot index of then letter is uh, lower than zero so that means uh, I'm only updating this letters tried if uh, the letter that the user input is gonna be a new one so if it's an old letter so if the user um, just enter the second time the letter A I'm not gonna bother and uh, just um, you know update this uh, letter stride string and uh, what I'm gonna do in order to update it I'm gonna say letter stride so I'm gonna say letters tried string plus equals letter so in that way if I just uh, in this way I'm just adding something to my string and basically I'm adding this letter and then plus and I just want to add also a comma and a space now this doesn't affect our uh, string because um, we're just checking letters so if that letters uh, are over there then that's fine if they're not found it doesn't really matter that we have some um, some commas or spaces so uh, at this moment what we need to do is to create a string and this is the message to be displayed okay and this will be the message with letter stride so it's gonna say letter stride colon space and then we just attach the letters tried 
Okay. And finally, we have to just set this uh, txt letter stride, set the text to uh, message to be displayed. So we have it right now on the screen.